hello friends in this video i will show you how to launch camera to record a video so here i have added just one button button one which will launch the camera so in this app when i click on this button it launches the camera and here it shows video so when i click when i will click on this red dot it will start capturing video the problem here is I am already recording the screen so it cannot capture video when I click on this red button it says audio recording device is occupied by another app please close it and try again so now I cannot record a video but uh, when I close this screen recorder I can record a video so when we we are finished with recording the video there will be an OK button and a cancel button when we click on OK button the video will be saved to the camera folder DCIM folder so here I will just cancel it and I will show you how to create this in sketchware in sketchware we have to add a button which will launch the camera then we have to add this camera component cam and in the event button one on click we have to use this code we have to create a new intent we have to create a new intent called take video intent and we define it by writing new intent media store dot action video capture so this is the take video intent then we check if this intent take video intent dot resolve activity get package manager not equal to null so if this intent is not equal to null then we start activity for result take video intent comma req cd cam request cd cam so this req cd cam is an integer which has been defined earlier in sketchware since we added the camera component it is already there in sketchware i'll just show you here at the top they have defined a int request cd cam equal to 101 so this is equal to 101 we can also use 101 in place of this so that's all is required for launching the camera and when the image is captured on picture taken here i just toast this message video saved because video is automatically saved when we click ok and this file path is not correct for video it is only correct for the picture file so don't use this file path block here if you have to get the uri use underscore data dot get data that will be the uri of the video so that's all it will launch the camera using a button i'll just show you the video which i had taken earlier this is the video which I had taken earlier.